Right, what's up, everyone? Um, hey. Quarantined. <laughs> Here we are. It's come to this. <laughs> exactly. Um, and obviously, we're running out of content ideas. So, once again, we relied on you to send us pictures of stuff you've got that you think is cool. And then we're going to decide whether we think it's cool. Aren't we? Yeah. So, we've got some good stuff. Um, so, first up. No. <laughs> Perhaps not. From Samurai Pixel Cat on Twitter. Um, magical pop full male fantasy adventure on the Mega CD. Um, he says it's his most prized retro game because he bought it from a pawn shop for a dollar nearly 20 years ago and it's now worth around $400. You ever heard of this? Um, not until now, no. Um, I thought it was quite familiar. <laughs> I know, I heard of this yesterday. <laughs> well. I don't think this came out in Europe, this one. I'm, uh, I did have a look, but I don't think it came out over here, so I've not really heard of it. Well, I know that, uh, so I, so I looked into this as well, um, and I know that originally it was going to be, they were going to replace, Sega were going to replace all the characters from this, uh, from the original Japanese version, and replace them with characters from Sonic the Hedgehog. And, um, a load of fans of the game sent letters to Sega telling them not to do it, so they released it sort of in its original form. Oh, even back then, people sent. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> even then, people were whinging. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty incredible. <laughs> that is. That's um, amazing. It's yeah, yeah, it's great, isn't it? I thought it was just Sega have had it pretty bad over the years. <laughs> yeah. You're getting wind. Imagine getting hate mail because of this. <laughs> sometimes it feels like it just feels like they they just can't win. Sometimes, um, <laughs> no matter what. Exactly. They, they... <laughs> but it was um, this is from Samurai uh, Pixel Cats, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was bought from a pawn shop for a uh, dollar. So how much did they give the uh, seller for it? <laughs> exactly. Twenty cents. <laughs> I, yeah, I was going to say a pawn <laughs> shop. Yeah, that's yeah. You'd think they would have accepted some money for it. That's worse than CEX trading. Yeah, it's like a donation. That is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a charity shop. <laughs> yeah, madness. Well, it says it's worth around four hundred dollars now. I looked into this. Yeah, it's not. It's worth. Well, yeah. So yeah, three hundred ninety-three dollars. Sort of the average that I found twelve or so listings and averaged them. It's about that. Highest yeah. it went for was four hundred. Right. Yeah. I'd say it's a fair treasure. I, I, it's not. I'm not familiar with the actual game itself or what the what the, the gameplay is like. But in terms yeah, of the, I mean, side scroller, RPG elements. You can level up your characters. Yeah. But yeah, it's sort of. I had a little look. At some gameplay video. It looks fairly par for the course, really. <laughs> it yeah. looks like everything else released around then. I'd say it's worth keeping hold of this one. Hundred um, percent. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, there's not not many of them about, and people aren't going to part with them uh, for you know for, for pocket money. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Right? Yeah, next yeah, like this one. This one yeah, them, I know it's it's weird enough. I was all geared up to like take the piss, but that, that's it's this it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Well, let's see if the next one gives us some fodder. I got from House of the Ted is Vectrex. Which, I mean, it says it's a Vectrex. Need I say more? It's a thing of beauty. It is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I was, gonna, I was hoping you would say that because I've wanted one for ages. Not that um, by today's standards the, the gameplay is much to speak about, but it, it's just I just think it looks cool um, from MB Games as well, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's pretty unique, and and nowadays they're quite hard to come by. I do you believe? Look yeah, it. that's cool. it. So they're quite, I mean, they're not too expensive. Well, I suppose actually they are too expensive. Um, but yeah, there's not too many of them available when I was looking for prices. Um, and particularly this one with the Mindstorm overlay. I found two of them. I think it's because people are prepared to sell them. They, they, they've become a bit of a cultural uh, icon, I think, yeah. in the last year. Yeah. But yeah, agreed. I, I wouldn't mind one of these for a shelf somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Just to sit there and team up, it would. 
just to have a different background of GRG HQ. Yeah, be nice just to <laughs> yeah. have a new look. Just to collect some dust. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. But yeah, so as I say, I had a little look at how much this costs. Yeah, it's about $500, 400 quid. Just all know that. Yeah, I found, as I say, quite a few of them. But I found quite a few more in the US than I did here. But they were all around that. Um, nothing too, there was nothing too outrageous. Um, so there'd be nothing for a, an eBay scammers video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, that's it's a pretty cool item. I can't make fun of this whatsoever. No, and I know it's exp I know it's a lot of money, but I, I would say that based on its age as well, finding that one looks in pretty good condition. And yeah, uh, yeah, agreed. I would say that's a fair. You're going to be paying a few hundred pounds for it, but I can't. It's not an insane eBay listing, sorry. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Hopefully, there'll be one that appears. So next up is from me. It's my copy of Ninja Cop um, on Game Boy Advance that I got in a charity shop for a quid. Um, and I've really? there and said I also got an Umbro jumper and 16 pairs of jeans as well. Um, I think that's, that's probably. Fantastic, baby. <laughs> it's about it's the only rare video game thing I own really. Um, it was just in the window. And when I, you when you showed me this, I was absolutely seething. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, it was a charity shop that you also visit. <laughs> yeah, they're all the time. Yeah, uh, it, it was so, uh, surrounded by some drivel. Game Boy Advance games as well. There was some absolute dog shit in there, but then that was just nestled among it. <laughs> oh, if it was me, I would have bought the lot. No matter oh, what. I did. Yeah, no, I bought them all. Um, I think altogether it came to four pounds. Brilliant. Can't argue with it. Uh, but yeah, yeah I, had a little look, like I had a little look at how much this is unboxed, um, like mine, and it's yeah. 185 quid. Just for the cut. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, boxed, it's more. <laughs> boxed, I saw, well, I guess, a rough average, about 300. It's madness. I would expect to pay 185 for a boxed one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's yeah. outrageous. It is outrageous, isn't it? This is an insane, insane eBay listing, because yeah. there's no way I'm paying that. I wouldn't pay that for any video game. Is it? Five quid. Is it because it came out towards the end of the game well, of yeah, I think 2003, I think it was quite, I think it was a, a relatively short release run as well. Um, again, let it never be said we don't do any research, but uh, I did, I've just forgotten it. I, I have done in the past and I'm pretty sure that um, <laughs> I was working in retail when uh, this would have come out. We never had any for the release date. We yeah. had a Game Boy Advance section and uh, I don't remember it ever coming in. So maybe they were just um, expecting that it wasn't going to be a popular title and a lot of shops just didn't get it in, so it's rare now, and that's it. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. It's a fun game as well. Yeah, it's a great game. Yeah, rather enjoy it. Um, what we got next? Again, I'm not, I'm not going to make fun of my own purchase. So, uh, <laughs> I can't make fun of it, mate. No, especially as <laughs> it was a quid. Yeah, it's a quid, and that's a, what, what a purchase that is. That's, yeah, it's a treasure. <laughs> Well, you always see them on Facebook groups, don't you? People that um, people that fight, they'll say, "Look at it, got all this for a tenner at a car boot sale," and it's sort of seven grand's worth of stuff that they definitely yeah, didn't get from the car boot sale. Yeah, they're just clearing out the loft and they arrange it all and just pretend they came back from a car booty. Yeah. Um, this was a genuine pound purchase, so very pleased with that. Next up, we got Johnny Blanchard, um, yes. and this is this is one of my favourites on this list. This PC Engine laptop. That's awesome. Yeah, I had a look into this and I can't even... I don't remember ever, ever seeing anyone actually own it before. No, no. <laughs> I'll be honest, I mean, obviously I know what a PC engine is, but I didn't know that this existed until I saw this photo. <laughs> I was definitely aware of it, but I'd never actually known anyone or who actually legit, legit owned it. I've seen it on eBay and stuff, but... Yeah. I actually know, like Johnny is a friend of the channel and uh, to actually know someone who's actually legit got one yeah yeah well actually yeah Johnny let me know what it's like to hold because it I mean I know it's sat on top it looks like it's sat on top of a Vectrex but I don't know 
I, do, I mean, it looks bulky. It looks like it might it might hold like a sort of a Frankenstein Game Boy Advance to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty bulky. Yeah, but this is like one of those sort of grail things to own. Apparently, they well, they were really rare anyway. They didn't release yeah. too many of them. But to have one in that good condition is pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Quite jealous. So I mean, I kind of when I looked into how much these go for, just to get cheeky average, um, I kind of expected it to be quite expensive, um, and I was right. I mean, unbox. I didn't know whether this was boxed or unboxed, so I looked at both. But yeah, unboxed it's 750 quid, which is shy of a thousand dollars, and boxed it's over two grand. <laughs> That's mental, isn't it? How much, how much did Johnny pay for it? Come I don't know. Yeah, I'd really good. Yeah, let us know, John. Because uh, that is... I mean, it's cool, but it's not... It's not too grand cool. No. I don't think... I mean, I couldn't justify spending 750 quid on that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> no. Think, when, think, when things are that expensive, I sort of resign myself to the fact I'm never going to own one. It's fine. Unless I find it. Yeah. Unless you find it in some some junk shop somewhere, yeah, yeah. it's not absolutely it's always possible. I, think. I was going, yeah. If I can find Ninja Cot for a quid, then <laughs> anything in Bath, anything's possible. One from Cheeky Brian, um, Synth Spaces. He sent us his pre-release copy of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which actually, oddly and rather depressingly, it looks like he's paid for a professional photo shoot for it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, a lot of that is. Um, but he said it was handed out to Sega staff a couple of months in advance of the famous Sonic Tuesday. Never heard of it. Um, yeah, and the reason it's, it's the reason it's so beaten up is because he'd show it off at Sega road shows at shopping centres and keep it with him in his pocket at all times to and from work. <laughs> Come on, Bry. Did you? The, really... um, <laughs> uh, Sonic Tuesday was the worldwide release, I believe, for the game. That's what it's called. Uh, it was released on a Tuesday, can't remember the date. <laughs> Get course, out. But yeah, the whole, I think it's World War release, uh, so Sonic Tuesday. Um, that that was the, the big lead up to it. That's what they made, that's what they called it. I think it's because it's not printed on my calendars when I get it to commemorate yeah. the anniversary, that's why I don't know. So yeah, so, I mean, no, it, I mean, it's a pretty cool item to have. Um, but looking at it, I would just have to believe in that that's what this is. Well, exactly, which is why when I was I was looking for how much these things cost, um, I couldn't really find anything to be honest. So no. I figured, given we're going to sort of rank these in price first and then in quality level, in our opinion, I just had to go with the normal. So this is worth about seven pounds. <laughs> yeah, pay for it. Yeah, exactly. I'd, I'd pay seven quid for that, Brian. Uh, um, one of my favourite games ever, just without the label on the cartridge to me. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. It just it looks I mean the box is the box is legit, but that, that cartridge could be anything. I'd imagine the box is just there for a visual aid that, that didn't come with that box, I doubt. Well either that or he's wearing those, you know, those massive JNCO jeans. Like so you've got to carry it in his pocket to and from work, you've got to have a big set of jeans for that. Yeah. That's madness. Why someone try to take the label off? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's from both sides as well. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> right, oh well, so we did get to take the piss a little bit out of one of them. But, you know, fair, fair play, Brian. That's, um, that is pretty yeah, cool. It is. Nice to have. Um, and for the purposes of this video, we'll believe it is what you say it is. So next up, it's you. Yes. Yeah. Fox McLeod standee. It's featured yeah. in many videos. Um, Benson himself. Exactly. Uh, it says you'll save the description for the video, so lay it on me. So the background behind this, uh, I was working um, for HMV at the time of the release of Star Fox Adventures, which is what this standee is for yeah. at the bottom. It's got the Star Fox Adventures logo right at the bottom. It's it's just it's um, a little bit under six foot tall. Um, and my manager at the time was going to just throw it out instead of putting it on the shop floor. We had a good few copies of the game. Very highly underrated game, by the way, for the GameCube. It is good, yeah. Um, 
and uh, she was just going to throw it out, and um, I had none of that, and then and we went straight into my car. <laughs> I was going to say, you didn't walk home with it, did you? You'd look mental. No, <laughs> no. It does fold. It folds, in, it folds once uh, for Very convenience. Cute. But I just can't. There aren't many of these around, I don't think. No, um, no, uh, yeah, definitely not, because I had a little look um, into how much these go for, uh, and I found one listing. Yeah. I know the one. one. It's one that yeah, it's one that we featured on a video, fucking months, like possibly two years ago, and yeah. shockingly, it's still there. Um, it's the same seller. He's been, I think it's from Germany. Yeah, it um, is. Yeah, <laughs> that's the very same one. <laughs> he, he's been trying to sell this for years. Yeah, yeah, I've been keeping an eye on this uh, fella, and uh, won't drop, won't drop the price there. though. Sorry, won't drop the price. No, because it's still. <laughs> 500 quid. <laughs> that is mad. 500 I quid. Mean, I uh, I wouldn't buy it for that much, but at the same time, <laughs> I, would, I would never let this go for... For less for than. <laughs> That's fair enough. I'd want, I would want a lot of money for this. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. you're not going to get it anywhere else. I don't, no. I don't know anyone else who's got one. Apart from one dude in Germany. Yeah. <laughs> If anyone's got one, by the way, then send us send us a photo of you stood with it. Yeah, so, that's a good, yeah. great show. It's quite a big, it's quite a big standee, isn't it? When you stand next to it, it's actually pretty. Uh, it is definitely almost six foot, it's like five foot ten, I think. Or five well, yeah, much like everything else on the planet, it's taller than me. So. <laughs> yeah. and it's it's quite intimidating as well because I um, I moved it one day when I was rearranging some things. When you get a cup of tea, you walk back into the room, and it scared the living daylights out of me. I, I didn't, I forgot it was there. <laughs> living alone uh, at the time, well, like terrifying. I once said hello to my own reflection in a window because I thought it was someone else. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like seven a.m. by Sainsbury's, and I just saw I saw someone in the window, and to my eternal shame, I thought, "Oh, he looks cool." So I went, "All right." And then it was me, my own reflection, because I'm a fucking idiot. I've got to say, the amount of people who've wanted to throw this away, it, in it, since I've had it as well. I'm not <laughs> going to go into it. but Because it's massive. Yeah, but it's part of history. It's um, 2002, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. This is rare. Yeah, I 2002. Rare. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, it's a really cool item. He looks, um, just, he looks livid. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he's featured in almost all of our sit-down videos, really, hasn't he? I was going to say, yeah, he's always there in the background. So next up, we've got Big Steve from Game Telford, um, who has a gold-plated Xbox One X. Now, this is 18 karat gold, <laughs> which ran as a competition from Microsoft in 2018. Um, and so as he says there, there's only eight in the world, and he's scared to turn it on. Um, so I had a little look into what this competition was. So between August the 14th and August the 27th of 2018, um, you had to play at least 30 minutes of online multiplayer every day. Um, and you had to get seven new achievements between those dates as well. Um, and then you got a prize, which you got a mystery prize. Don't know what that was. Um, and you got entered into the draw for this. And that was a global contest, and Steve won one of them. Bloody it's God. mental. It's pretty cool, and you could eat your dinner yeah. off that. I know. It's it's madness, isn't it? I can't. An eighty, and it came with an eighteen karat gold controller as well. It's insane. I, I wouldn't even use it. I wouldn't touch it. I'd keep it. Oh, 100 percent. That's a display piece. Yeah. I've never ever seen one. That is. Yeah. I mean, eighteen karat gold games console. It's madness. <laughs> I would just go and buy another Xbox One. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't yeah, use I would, it. You wouldn't want to break that. No. It's madness. No, I'm, when, yeah, I'm I'm really impressed by this, even though I'm not even an Xbox, I'm not, not a Microsoft um, fan, really. It's more yeah. Sony on the Nintendo for me, but yeah, I'm well impressed with this. The limited consoles, all right, whatever, but this, this is actually limited. Oh, 100%, yeah, I mean, I've, I've got no shame in revealing this is my favourite item on this entire list. It's awesome. <laughs> and I think just the graft you've got to put in to get it and where to be entered and then to 
then to win it is pretty cool. They must have had hundred thousand entrants. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at least it's it's, it's insane. So I had a little. So I couldn't really, obviously, because there's only eight released, um, and it is that limited. I didn't look at how much they're worth. I looked at how much one of them sold for. Um, over it's ten and a half thousand dollars. Yeah, eight and a half grand. <laughs> it's on eBay. Um, I did it. It was some. It was like an official auction as opposed to an auction. Oh. Like as far as I'm aware, it makes sense. In fairness. <laughs> I'd like to know where all of these are, the other seven. Yeah. Actually. I so, think, yeah, so we know there's one collector that paid ten and a half grand, um, well, US dollars for it. Um, yeah. Steve's got one. Don't Is this from um, Game Telford, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, just... guessing, I'm guessing he got it delivered to his work, because you wouldn't, if that, once that's in your house, you wouldn't take it out. No, I'd get a taxi home with that. I think. 100%. Imagine dropping it. West Madness. I mean, I've never been to Telford, so I don't know if it's rough. But, um, yeah, you wouldn't walk down the street with it. Well, yeah. <laughs> and it's 18 carat as well, so it would uh, scratch and yeah. uh, break, um, scratch easily. You can really, It's really easy to mark 18 carat because gold is really soft. Yeah, so the more golden it, the softer it is. So yeah, I'll, I'll just put this in a glass cabinet. Uh, Bank <laughs> Safety deposit box. Yeah. It's cool. Look at the gleam on his face. I know. It's, oh. Yeah, so that, that's definitely, that is without question the coolest item on this. Um, and then the last one, there's always one who's got a um, bullshit a bit, but here in Bullshit Corner, we've got from Ben Rattigan, a very far away person, um, which was released in 2020 by the world's governments. Brilliant. Yeah, although, so I've got some issues with this. Um, it's rated teen, yet this lockdown applies to everyone. Yeah, it should say for everyone. Like yeah. On the, um, yeah. And it's my first issue with that. Um, and the second it's is, it's not that rare. Everyone's doing it. It's the new thing. It's like pogs. Yeah. Yeah, it's the new hobby. Which yeah. I was actually really good at already, so. <laughs> I know, I've seen there's plenty of people on Twitter that have been doing this for fucking years. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> yeah, now just everyone else is copying them. <laughs> yeah. Now a little look. Um, the current price of this is your life. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is probably the most valuable one. Yeah. That's it. I initially wrote "fuck all" because it's not real, but then I thought, "Well, no, the the concept is real." Um, well, and also, what this does tell me is that Ben Rattigan's got nothing he thinks is cool in his house because he's clearly taken a photo of a computer screen for that. Yeah, it's definitely lifted off. <laughs> yeah, you can see you can see the reflection of his window. You know, there's a tree. Oh, yeah. his, there's a tree in his garden. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I have uh, to so say. Uh, my favourite on the list is, is the Vectrex. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll have a look. So I, this is them by price. Um, I mean, I took the Sonic 2 pre-release. I put that at the bottom because seven quid. Um, <laughs> the rest of them. Yours is weirdly your Fox Standy, based on selling price, is tied with the Vectrex, like right. to, the, to the pound. But yeah, I think I I did put bullshit game um, at number one because because that concept is important. Yes. Um, and that's the only reason it beat the gold Xbox One X. Yeah, it's more important than that. 100%. Um, and it's about the only thing that is actually, because I've never been quite so amazed by a video games console, one that's made of gold. No. <laughs> Be no other, no, that's it. Well, exactly. Right, so what, no. what's your ranking then, mate? What do you reckon? So, Popful Mail, good shit? Uh, I... I'm fairly impressed with that um, because it's a title, it's a mega CD title that I haven't heard of. I can see it's Sega CD, so it must be North American. Yeah. Um, so it's another mega slash Sega CD title I've, I've not actually heard of. There aren't many to, to look at. So. Yeah. I was going to say, well, they've got quite a limited library. How many games is on the mega CD? Well, well Sega CD. 100. Really? Bloody hell. Yeah. 
Uh, right, well, so you, we already know that you think the Vectrex is definitely riches rather than rubbish. Yes. Okay, what about my Ninja Cop? Um, <laughs> fairly biased because I'm quite jealous you found it at the <laughs> quid. Uh, um, I would say more so riches if it was boxed, but with Game Boy yeah. Advance stuff, that's really tricky because people used to throw them away. <laughs> yeah, cardboard boxes, man. Got no idea why it keeps happening. Um, uh, well, I think we're in agreement on the PC Engine laptop. I mean, that is yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Well, I suppose this is the contentious one. Uh, Brian's pre-release Sonic Two. I'm. <sighs> <laughs> Again, I just have to believe in. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was gonna. I mean. I like your, I like your. So I mean, I've got the first one. I don't have Sonic Two, um, but I like your one because the cartridge looks cool because there's a fucking label on it. Yeah, it's got the proper label it's on got, it. It's got it? artwork on it. Yeah. Someone hasn't tried to peel it off on each side. Yeah, I mean, I assume that the game contained on that cartridge is exactly the same as the one that was released to everyone. Well, that's what. Yeah, he didn't tell us that, did he? I don't know if it's a um, like a pre-release version of it where we're yeah. still in it. Version. That would be pretty cool. An yeah. version of too. I know that, that there are some pre-release versions that do exist that have a couple, or maybe a different stage or some different enemies. If it's that, then fair enough. But if not, yeah. I mean, I'll take it or leave it. It's not rubbish, but it's not riches, despite the yeah. professional photo shoot that it's had. <laughs> it's somewhere down the middle. It's, yeah. It's very yeah. Middle um. And it, well, I mean, I, I love this gold-plated Xbox that Steve's got. That's awesome. Your favourite? Oh yeah, hands down. I just, think, I mean, that is that's a real baller piece of kit. <laughs> gold-plated. Uh, then we got a very far away person. What do you reckon? Concept I, and I just that. shit mock-up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Concept is great. The mock-up doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be rated team. And technically, shouldn't be outside this person either. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, he's not moving. Um, that's not exercise. <laughs> yeah, and it seems like he's actually, actually, he's probably trespassing. He's not dressed like a farmer, and that's clearly someone's field. Look, it's been tilled. Someone's tended to that. If that's his garden, then fair enough. And <laughs> I applaud him. Uh, well done. Stay <laughs> And then, well, I know what you think about your fox standee. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely not anywhere near the top of the list on this one, I don't think. But no. out of my collection, it's probably the rarest thing I have. Yeah. Well, that brings us to the end of this yeah. assessment of people's stuff. Um, as I say, I'm mildly disappointed that there wasn't more to take the piss out of. But it's you know what? Still... I thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it. These are all actually pretty cool. Um, I didn't expect to see a, um, a gold-plated Xbox. That's amazed me. Yeah. Not jealous uh, at all. You can use yeah. it as a mirror. I know. <laughs> it's literally. I mean, it's almost a perfect image reflected back. It is cool. I can't. I can't I'm amazed by it. I can't get over it. It's madness. Right. Very impressive. But yeah. Well, so that, that was a weird video to record. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it will be business as usual by 2022. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's the end of 2020. That was the beginning of 2023. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think there are some more things coming. We did record a, a couple of bits before all this really kicked off. Um, yeah. You might see some solo ones from us, I think, as long as people yeah. don't mind that. We can do that, that's fine, uh, once we've got the time. Um, if, leave a comment down below if you want to see some solo ones from us, um, or more of it, more of these uh, sort of uh, online meetups, uh, let us know. And um, yeah. in the meantime, any, if, you've got uh, links cool stuff, if you've got any cool stuff yeah. and you weren't featured in this, send it and we'll have a little look at it and tell you what we think. If you've got any lamps that are made of old consoles, send us them as well. 
um, and we'll definitely tell you what we think. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll have a few words about those. <laughs> there was one, right? There was one where they, it was a console lamp and in the picture there was a lamp, there was a working lamp behind the lamp. <laughs> oh, dear me. What's lamp. the point? What is the point? Oh, yeah, so send us, send us shit like that and we'll tear into it. Um, it, annoys <laughs> it annoys me just thinking about it. But yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, uh, we'll see you next time because we know you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.